To see your questions answered in the mailbag, simply tweet at me, at Evan Daniels, with the There's some quality options here too. I'd probably lean towards picking a point guard, so I'll go with Nico Mannion. The kid is a very good point guard prospect. He has a nice blend of facilitating and creating for others, while also being able to score. He's a very good long-range threat and shoots it well on the move and from mid-range. He's also quick and possesses a nice burst of speed in the open court. I think he's a good culture guy as well. He seems like a good teammate, and players seem to genuinely enjoy playing with him. Plus, I don't think he's a guarantee to be one and done, so if I could get this type of talent to run my team for more than a year, I'd be all in. Keon Brooks, where does he go? David Wood, at David Wo 69869849, March 4, 2019 Variations of this question were asked on Twitter more than any other. The truth is, I don't know where Brooks is going. If I was forced to make a guess, I would lean towards Kentucky, but Brooks and his family have done a good job of keeping their choice close to the vest. While there are more than three finalists, the only three that I think have an inkling of a shot are Indiana, Kentucky and Michigan State. Brooks's decision will be aired live on CBS Sports HQ on March 15th. Who did you switch your CB off of to Foggy for Lester Quinn owns? Nathan Jolly, at underscore Nathan Jolly, March 4, 2019 My original pick was to LSU, and honestly they could very well still be the school. But Quinone seems much more open than he was in the early fall. At one point, I thought he was a done deal to the Tigers. He's taken official visits to LSU, plus Maryland. He went back to Maryland earlier this week was also recently told that Quinones was working to set up a visit to Memphis, Michigan, Georgia, Ohio State and most recently Indiana are also involved. He doesn't appear to be in a rush, and I don't think there's a leader at this time. Is Duke looking to bring in a Fab Five with Hurd and Watford? J. Feezy, Adel Feezy, 321, March 4, 2019 This question was asked a number of times, so let's have at it. I have a crystal ball pick in for Matthew Hurt and Duke. I don't believe that Hurt has made his choice, but I like Duke's current positioning. In terms of Watford, Duke has not offered him a scholarship yet, and it's not a shoe in that they do. They've also actively started to recruit Tristan Anaruna and Cassius Stanley. Another name to watch for Duke in 2019 is RJ Hampton. A source close to the Hampton camp said it was 50-50 to on reclassifying, but assuming Duke loses Trey Jones they'll have a need for another guard in 2019, so could see them ramp things up there. Will Illinois get a visit from Christian Brown out of Oak Hill? Austin Goff, at A underscore Goff 1, March 4, 2019 Recruiting changes on a daily basis, but as of today it's not looking like it. Sure seems like Oklahoma State and Georgia may be pulling away from the pack. Brown took an official visit to Ozu this past weekend. NC State has been involved as well. But it seems like Illinois is on the outside looking in.